Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane and today I'm going to be showing you the entire process I followed in order to create my first ever animated music video. So let's get started. As some of you may know, besides my comic pursuits and illustration work, I also work as an art director for a record label called Tolog Records. And I'm about to start a two-year animation program in Canada in September. All of these factors combined give me the opportunity to work with one of the talented artists from the record label to create an animated video for their newest single, Sunflower. I wanted to share the entire process I went through in order to create this animation and hopefully give you a bit of an insight into some of the work I do besides what you see on my social media, comics, and even on this YouTube channel. Step 1. Writing the idea Thankfully for this project, I had a lot of artistic freedom and I was able to sit down with the song and listen to it several times before deciding what I wanted to do visually to convey the story with an animation. As I sat listening to it, I would write down ideas that would come to me and I ended up with a rough story proposal for the video that I pitched. Step 2. Character design, color palettes, and visual development. Now that I knew what the story was going to be about, I had to figure out what my main and basically only character in the story would look like. He was designed after the artist who made the song and I knew I wanted to take some inspiration from the shows he liked, which included Adventure Time and Rick and Morty. So I drew a concept sketch for him and sent it for approval. Some of the notes I received from the artist talked about what kind of colors they preferred and we talked about basing the color palette on Shiva. And that's how I ended up with the colors I'd use for the entirety of the project. I knew I could come up with a basic concept for the backgrounds that would feature in the animation. But I also knew that there was someone I knew personally who could do better justice to those ideas. And that's when I asked my dear friend Nish to join the project as an assistant animator and background artist. Step 3. Storyboard and Timetable Now that I knew what story I wanted to tell, what the character would look like, and that I had the best person to help me animate and draw the environments for the animation, it was time to lay out everything on a storyboard. Storyboards for animation, TV, and film tend to be very extensive, but considering this would be a smaller project, I decided to approach the storyboard in a more relaxed and condensed way. This helped me figure out the visual style of the animation as well as figure out the specific times down to the second in which each new scene would happen. From that storyboard, I was better able to figure out how I would go about tackling the project and also delegate the backgrounds and animations Niche had to do considering their work hours to better make use of both our times and deliver the project efficiently. Step 4. Animation With the basics of pre-production already figured out, Niche and I were able to animate this music video and it was an absolute blast. So on my side, I only used Clip Studio Paint X and I know that Niche used Clip Studio as well, and also After Effects. Step 5. Compositing Finally, it was time to put every scene we worked on separately together on Premiere Pro. For me, this is where every piece of the puzzle came together and I was able to see the magic of our combined efforts giving even more life to an already beautiful song. Step 6. Revisions at the end of the project, there were a couple of revisions which both Niche and I worked on to deliver the best final animation we could. These are great opportunities to be self-critical and make sure to come out any details that need adjusting or that might not be working for the animation. From start to finish, this project took us a little over a month to complete. It is crazy to look back on some of my first animations compared to this one, and I'm sure after going to college for animation, it will feel the same way to look back on this animation compared to my work in the future. But I am very happy I get to work on projects like this, and I always give it my all. I am grateful that I'm able to continue learning and growing as an artist every single day. The best part is being able to work with my friends and make new connections along the way. If you guys want to check out the full animation, I'll leave a link in the comments for you to watch it as well as a link to the song on Spotify for you to listen and enjoy. Well guys, that was it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to be seeing you around here very soon.